Hey guys, Matt has a stain right here. Uh, <laughs> I'm very insecure about it. All he's right. been he's been gonna, asking all day. Hello. Hi. Well, good to hello. see you on another channel, guys. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome to my channel. So, about a month ago, we were about to hit 300 subscribers, and a few days ago, we hit 500. <laughs> so, I know most of you are coming from Yes Theory's channel, so I decided that I would do a video on the first time I met them, and I'm sure a lot of you guys came to this channel because of that video. So I decided that I was going to talk about the whole experience and how it was and all that. When I first started watching who you guys know as Yes Theory, they were still named Project 30. And I came across from them because there was an article on my Facebook page about them. And they were like maybe like a week and a half in with their 30 day project. And if you guys haven't seen that, you guys should definitely go see it. During the month of August 2015, they did a bunch of really cool things to start getting out of your comfort zone. Go check it out if you haven't. Really awesome. Worth scrolling all the way down. So I first started watching them there. And then a few months later, they decided to change their name to the channel to Generation Why Not. And it was around November of 2015. I'm having a brain fart. That's the time. Come on, baby. Fast, quick. So I'm having a really hard time explaining this, so I'm just gonna pull some back up into this right now. Aaron, all what right. happened? All right, all right. <laughs> we tell how it is. All right, so in November 2015, I sent Yes Theory, they were then called Generation Why Not, I sent them a message asking them if they could surprise Nell for her birthday. Uh, I wasn't expecting like much. I, I just asked them really if they could send a message or something to to surprise her. But those guys are really awesome, and they answered me the same day, and they said like, "What do you have in mind?" And they suggested that we meet up and do a do a video. So I thought that was really cool of them. You want to take over? Okay. So let me do a little explanation, a drawing, what was happening. Okay. Let's say like. I'm not the artist here, but okay, we were at like a four-way street like this. Okay, this is uh, Aaron and me. We're walking down like this, okay? And there was a fire truck that was like right here, so you couldn't really see anything. And then the guys um, from Yes Theory, they were walking like this, but I couldn't see them. And then the fire truck moved, and then all of a sudden they popped up here. and. I was so shocked because like it's not like just like oh we ran into them like holy shit like it was like they were walking right towards me and I was like like I couldn't believe it like I was so shocked and Aaron just had the biggest smile on his face he was just like yes it worked he was so satisfied but I honestly I don't think I'll ever forget that day I think they're right behind uh, the fire truck yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Are they watching us? No, they're right over there Make your entrance, boys. Here we go, boys. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Let's <laughs> go. Let's go. Oh Such a huge fan. Like, for me, it was like meeting my idols almost. Like, if it wasn't for them, and obviously Aaron, I don't think I would have started a YouTube channel. Um, I wouldn't have been doing videos but um, yeah we went and we sat down for a bit and just talked and then they had asked me like what are some things that I would want to do and I was like honestly like I'm literally in my own little comfort zone and I was like oh god like what are they gonna make me do and when I first learned that I had to like go lay in the middle of the street oh my god I did not want to not at all. I'm pretty sure Thomas went first and then it was my turn to go.
and I remember when I had to go and lay down in the middle of the street my heart was beating so fast and at first I remember being like oh my god what are all these people gonna think of me they would be like what the fuck is wrong with this girl why is she laying on the floor but then like I laid down and like after like 10 seconds I kind of just cleared my mind and I was like you know what who gives a shit like let's just let's just do it kind of thing then the next thing I had to do <clears throat> was tell a joke in public First of all, I mean, the joke was kind of funny, but having to stand up in a Tim Hortons full, it's not like there was just like three people there. Everyone was just staring and then no one laughed at the joke and I was just there and I was like, oh, what have I gotten myself into? But then like, I don't know, it's like these things like you do and in the moment you're kind of like you're freaking out and you're like oh my god and you're like so stressed but then like once it's over it's like okay like that wasn't that bad after all then after the Tim Hortons we did what was probably my favorite part of this experience we went to silo number five and that was one of my favorite episodes um, during their project 30 and having the like gotten the chance to do that experience was like it was crazy. If you don't know what silo number five is, it's an abandoned um, grain mill that's in like downtown Montreal. So now people kind of just go there because it has such an amazing view. I would not recommend going there. It's kind of dangerous. So overall experience was amazing. I would definitely want to do like another um, have another adventure with those guys uh, unfortunately that day I did not get to meet Amar Amar was away and couldn't make it but hopefully in the near future I get to meet Amar and see all the guys again and who knows you know maybe we can collab or something uh, who knows so I just wanted to basically say a big thank you to Yes Theory for having gotten me started and having me given the courage of me getting out of my comfort zone. That was really awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Um, thank you to Erin for setting the whole thing up. And I wanted to thank all of you guys that took the time to come over to my channel and watch my videos and subscribe. You guys are awesome. I love you so much. And um, I asked them if they could, you know, film a little thank you video so that's what you guys saw in the beginning so here's the rest of it yes welcome to Nelly's channel Nelly is the best so we hope you continue to be awesome with her and doesn't Matt sound like Nelly paid him to say that she are didn't, you getting paid but well, no <laughs> <laughs> no but Nelly is actually awesome and we just want to say thank you to all of the yes fan members that went to check her out and supported her uh, because she's an awesome individual and uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave this. Camera. I actually wasn't there for that episode, so I actually never got to meet Nelly, but I've heard very good things about her. So sweet, Take cool. Care. All right, we miss you, Nelly. We'll see you soon, and thank you to the SDA fam. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Please check out all my social media, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.